are not encumbered by the federal government or don't require federal government. So uh, I'm going to be recommending in the budget $3.5 million to reestablish the Florida State Guard. The Florida State Guard will act as a civilian volunteer force. The man wants to create his own private police. He's calling them the Florida State Guard. Adversarial to the federal government basically is what they're trying to create a group to be. Let me give you some background to this. Um, so the governor has put forth a proposal to reinstate a state run paramilitary force that would lead as opposed to the federal government, okay? DeSantis, a Republican, asked state lawmakers to fund the establishment of what he is calling the Florida State Guard to assist with, and I quote, state specific emergencies. This force of 200 selected volunteers would, and I quote, not be encumbered by the federal government. The governor said, if the $3.5 million plan goes ahead, Florida would gain a state run force alongside its National Guard, which is jointly funded by the federal government and the state. So here's what he's doing. He's creating a de facto private police force under his leadership and direct control. Because the standing guard that's already there, well, it's a joint effort between the federal government and the state government, which means because of that joint funding directive, the federal government has authority, has some level of tactical and practical authority over their regular guard. So he's creating a new guard called the Florida Guard, all right? Um, And once again, he says they was served next to the National Guard. DeSantis said the State Guard would be deployed to deal with the aftermath of natural disasters, such as hurricanes that routinely hit Florida. Although these troops could be put to other other tasks. Okay, he said, and I quote, we want to make sure that we have the flexibility and the ability needed to respond to events in our state in the most effective way possible, DeSantis said. That will require us to have access and be able to use support in ways that are not encumbered by the federal government or don't require federal government. You see what he's doing, right? This is not about hurricanes in Florida, they've always had hurricanes in Florida. This is not about hurricanes, this is about protest. This is about Black Lives Matter rallies. This is about vaccine mandates and protocols. This is about being antithetical to the US government. That's what this is about. This is about DeSantis launching his presidential campaign by showing his base that he is willing to create his own military force, his own private police to stand adversarial to the systems and the rules of government as we know it. This is what he's doing, all of this combined into one action. He's only requesting 3.5 million, but he's going to request more. They will amend it if he gets it, he will increase it if he gets it. This is your prototype. Mark my words on the show today, if DeSantis is able to do this, other states will follow in a massive way. Already, there are other states that have a similar program that serves alongside of his National Guard. DeSantis is about to put that program on steroids and actually make them active. You're basically, you're basically are going to deputize paramilitary groups to work for the state of Florida. That's what's happening here. That's what DeSantis is doing, that's his goal. Florida had this set up in 1941 to fill in for National Guard members, 1941. This was to fill in for National Guard members fighting in World War II, okay? It was disbanded in 1947, it was disbanded for a reason. Florida will become the 23rd state with the National Guard in 2015. Greg Abbott, the Republican governor of Texas used the state guard there to monitor federal military exercises in, in his state amid a baseless rumor that the federal government was nefariously using Walmart supermarket parking lots 
to establish military control. It was insane, it was ridiculous, it was untrue. But we actually had government action due to the big lie, the big lie back then. Some say this reaction to the federal requirement for National Guard members to receive the COVID-19 vaccine, that this is a require, this is a reaction to that requirement. DeSantis has not come out against vaccines for military members, but has been against vaccine mandates within his own state. Very sad, we'll keep an eye on it, but it will develop as it develops, okay?